All right. Hello, fellow viewers, and welcome back to yet another stream. And since it's Thursday, I usually do the square shiny hunt on my Pokemon Sapphire cartridge. And there's so many Pokemon that we haven't hunted yet, or that we can still hunt, um, or at least I have hunted them in Emerald. But this time I can get them as a square shiny, so let's do that. And already there's some action in the chat. <laughs> Just your own normal animator. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? You came before classic. <laughs> Someone's really happy. All right. So what I was thinking of maybe uh, hunting was um, some Pokemon that can be found via Super Rod. And you need to go to Moss Deep City, which I'm already in. And then you go this route and close, or at least if I remember correctly, this house, there's a guy who will give you the super rod. And there we go. Because this save file doesn't have it anymore. Uh, not yet, at least now. Yes, got it. All right, so what should we hunt first? There's so so much to consider, to be fair. Hey there, Alex. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Must say today I'm a bit tired, um, but still, I will definitely try to get at least a couple of shinies tonight. And what should we go for first? So I was thinking about maybe going to... Um, Actually, we haven't, we didn't go to the Shoal Cave yet, did we? And the Shoal Cave has a ice room. Sorry, I have to go with grass. Has a ice room, and that ice room has Snorond. And Snorond can be caught as a square shiny here. And Modus is a excellent nature for that. So maybe let's try that. Hey there, Kaiser comes in. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Good to see all, all you guys here together. Need sleep as usual. Uh, yeah, in my case, me too. But um, I can sleep in tomorrow, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Now, if I remember correctly, the Shoal Cave is to the north of um, Moss Deep City. Let's see, do I have a... No, I don't. Okay. I think I should buy a couple of repels first, or should I? Yeah, I think so. Should have done that before, to be honest, but uh, here we are now. <laughs> so a repel I can buy in... There's not every single market that buys the or sells the same same item um i don't remember if the department stone uh, stones department store in lily cove sells them because maybe it would be best to buy a max repel and that one i can buy in Mo moss deep city actually so i Really being really lazy now and fly flying from the city that I'm already in to flying to the same very same city I'm doing a Taylor Swift here mm, Yeah, let's buy a couple of netball why not and a couple of dive balls so five and Five Max repels, which is called Top Schutz in German. Even though Schutz means or translates uh, uh, into protection, and repelling something isn't exactly the same as a protection, but I think you get the. Uh, doesn't really matter that much, does it? Wait, I did another mistake. <laughs> See, that's what happens when you are sleep deprived. Um, I need a sweet center or else this won't work at all. 
So let's do that first. After all, I do plan to stream at least for a... F at least for three hours. Or maybe two, it depends on how... How tired I really become later. On Okay, so I need my sweet center. Where are you? Where are you? You are here. Yep, I need you. Oh yeah, my team is full. Um, I don't need you. And I don't really need you. Isn't that a nice shiny camera up? It's really nice. Um, it's the star, uh, no, sorry, the square uh, new mold that I caught. That is her now. She's, I called her Ashley because of ashes. I know, very creative. And this is Lily, the Ludicolo. It's also a square shiny that I caught in one of these, um, yeah, basically one of these streams. So now that we have everything, <laughs> Let's head towards the cave room because the time set on this save file is during the night. So if I'm not mistaken, the ice room should be accessible, which unfortunately it isn't. Um, I'll save. Isn't um, accessible on my emerald because on my emerald it's always afternoon. And, well, don't even think I battled them, but doesn't matter. <laughs> right, here we are. This is the Shoal Cave. And because um, the Shoal Cave usually has multiple states that it's in, it can be high tide and it can be low tide. And when it's one tide or the other, several rooms will be either accessible or blocked, as you can maybe deduce yourself. I just need to remember where the um, ice room is. And there's a... I haven't been here yet on this save file, so that's why there's a couple of items here. Okay, so let's use repel again. Um... What is this? Alright, a eyes heal. That's always a good thing. Oh yeah, the salt. You can collect salt and um, also shells. And if you give it to the old man that you saw in the beginning, he'll give you... Um, he'll make a... What's the item called again in English? It's like um, leftovers, but not really. It like the, the HP you get back from that item depends on um, how much the um, how much damage the attack did that you performed don't think that one will fight because usually NPCs that okay we're gonna save here because I don't want to waste too much time um, remember as a kid when I first saw Entei on the TV once my eyes couldn't stop looking at how epic he was and as soon as I saw him I was hunting him like a Roma to find him on the TV Oh yeah, I need strength for that one. Where does this lead me? Is this the ice room? No. But will it lead me to the... No, it will. Okay. Good to know. I'll just reset again. <laughs> Doing some exploring. So you've... It was basically a love at first sight for you. For the... Um, for Entei. Is this the ice room? No. No, do I need... I think I do need strength. Have I been here before? Yeah, you have. Okay, I'm going in circles. Because <laughs> I loved Ente so much as a kid and I literally never knew his name. Oh, okay, so you didn't pick up on the... Um, on the name, I don't know what, in what language did you... That wasn't intentional. Uh, in what language did you watch the movie? Hey there, Ahmed. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Okay. Hmm. 
the I forgot that um apparently um Yeah, apparently Zigzagoon cannot learn strength, which kind of surprises me, so gotta go with Ch Champignon now. I mean, it's a clone anyway and doesn't really need a power punch, this one. So let's just use it as a temporary HM slave. And take my god, was in art as a kid. I had that with Latias. The first time I saw Latias, I was like, okay, this is wonderful. Here we are, finally. <laughs> okay, so I think there's an item here. No? Okay. So all I need is being here. So I'm gonna save. And the delay is 261 since we're in the cave. And I'm going for Snorond. So it's gonna be on frame 4636. Which is pretty um, very early. So not a... Too much of a of a wait time, I would say. And then let's let's start. I'm actually very excited for this one. I haven't hunted Snorunt ever. And this time it's gonna be modest, which is a very good nature, and it's gonna be square shiny. And the I really like the um, how the shiny looks like. Both the evolution and the. Um, and the base form, let, let's say. So Snow Round and the Evolution Day. I like them both. Um, to be fair, the Evolution, the shiny, it's basically only the eyes that turn red. But still, it's a very good example of a shiny that's minimal, but still very good. Was in English, definitely. Then later I learned his name was Entei and made him my favorite mon. <laughs> I know how, you, how that feels like. Gonna go shower, be right back. All right, enjoy your shower. Hey there, quite a sky waker. Welcome to the stream, how are you doing? I mean, until now I haven't hunted anything yet. I um, just kind of explained and showed how to get in to the Shoal Cave Ice Room. And I was correct. Um, the Ice Room is only... Um, you can only go into the Ice Room when the tides are low. And whether or not the tides are low or high depends on what time it is on in the game and because my internal battery has run dry it's eternally stuck at the same the same time the exact same time and for this one i deliberately chose a night time so i think it was 6 a.m or 5 4 a.m i don't remember but it's during the time uh, the during night time because my emerald is stuck during um, afternoon and this one would then be a counterpart so can't hunt Snorant in emerald unfortunately that would not be possible but it's possible here that is very good not really that good second day of eight oh that's unfortunate I want it to be over. I only slept three hours and I had to bake a whole cake and six batches of cookies. I'm dead. Oh boy, looks like um, you got really busy for eight. Isn't it over today? Or no, I think it's going on for the 12th, isn't it? Then again, Ahmed, you can correct me if I'm wrong. But I remember them. It's like the holiday that you guys do after Ramadan. And I think it lasts like three days afterwards. Again, I could be mistaken. And feel free, feel free to correct me. With any mistake that I may say, I'm not. Um, I don't have an ego problem. If I say something that's factually incorrect, just correct me. I'm not gonna take that as a personal attack. And that's a snow one, but it's not a shiny one, so. I'm also pretty tired, but still, um, I do want to stream because uh, next week's gonna be super busy for me. I'm gonna have a lot of appointments, both for like doctor's appointments and other appointments. And I also have my 30th birthday coming up. 
So that will be in exactly one week. This is my last week alive uh, while I'm in my 20s, I guess. You could say it like that. I already got that party um, well planned in advance and I'm gonna be very busy for that whole day, so... I doubt that I will stream next week, but I really try to at least find one day where I'll be able to. Doing good, but I hope I didn't make your head spin as I tried to explain the ending of FF7 Rebirth. Nah, it's okay. Um, I, I kind of like it, um, hearing things or reading things that make my neurons fire. <laughs> no, till Tuesday, the next one. Ah, okay, okay, I see. Schnepke sounds interesting. Yeah, that's the German name. It kind of fits. It does sound very Nordic. Fitting for an ice type. Let's say Zubat. Which I think I can also get as a square shiny. Let's check. Alright, so slot zero. Is a possibility? What is slot zero? That would be Zubat, alright. Uh, Sweel? Alright, no square Sweel, so um, I think I'm gonna have to go to the other rooms for a square Sweel, which I did plan on hunting. Snorned is 6, 9, and 11, alright. Can I get a Golbat? No, no square Golbat. So yeah, Snorned. Um, I mean, I already caught a um, square Zubat shiny, to be fair. I mean, if I manage to see another one, of course I'm going to catch it. I bought so many games, one of them called Cuphead. Oh yeah, Cuphead, that's... Uh, yeah, I heard of it. Um, my husband really likes it. He, uh, I mean, we have it on Steam. And I think he also has it on his Switch. And... Um, I mean, we really like it because it's really, it's hand animated, looks gorgeous, it's reminiscent of the um, Spaghetti Arms era of animation, looks really nice. Well directed as well, um, good game design, I have to say. One of the hardest games you can play ever, yeah, it's ridiculously hard. It's, I think, a also a homage to early video games being freaking hard. Because, um, especially bullet hell games, which it sometimes emulates. Ukrainian, by the way, have some interesting German words, but I don't remember which exactly. Oh, yes, so you have some, um, loan words, loan terms. Like, um, English, there's the word, um, Kindergarten, Kindergarten, yeah, that's just literally... A German word. It, if you would translate it literally, it would um, mean children's garden. It's not meant like that. It's like a preschool kind of thing. That's what it what it means. And I've heard um, random Americans just say kindergarten or kindergarten, kinder garden, how they sometimes pronounce it. But of course, when I read it, I always say it the German or pronounce it the German way. Kwe walkout song. Hey there, classic. <laughs> How are you doing? Welcome back to the stream. I knew you'd show up as well. What's the cutest fighting type for me? Hitmontop. Hitmontop? Yeah, Hitmontop is like your uh, Beyblade bro, I guess. Cutest fighting type. Hmm, let me think. And that's a Sweel, which I'm going to hunt but not in this room because um, this is after all a square a square shiny hunt right so the fighting type the cutest fighting type I really have to think I mean you're you're right uh, hitman Tav is pretty cute Riolu or Ryolu or however you pronounce it is also cute, but I mean baby Pokemon are based on babies and babies are At least I think so cute and 
I know there's a lot of people who don't like human babies. They prefer kitten and kittens and puppies, which I also understand. And Ukrainians literally child's garden as well. Ah, oh, <laughs> that's very interesting. By the way, I had to clean the whole house for the past few days with the f fact I had to cook. Oh, jeez, that's a lot of work. At least they, hopefully they'll they'll thank you for that. I mean, I also do that in my family. Uh, when my mom had her surgery on the back, I did really, I helped her. I, I did a lot of the housework. And I actually stayed over for a longer time with my parents just so that she has another helping hand uh, with her. Also pretty cutie 3D animations of uh, Snowrond, where it's shivering. Phalanx is pretty cute. I really like that fighting type. It's a very unique idea. A Roman warrior f uh, f like formation, but at the same time, it's like looks like a Kirby um, enemy. Something that would get yeah, what that can't uh, brain dot exe has stopped working. Please wait until it reloads. Phalanx <laughs> looks like something you would see in. Um, in a Kirby game. At least I think so. The Hisuian Sneasel is also a pretty cute fighting type, but Sneasel in itself I think is cute. Oh yeah, how could I forget about Marshadow? Marshadow is probably one of the least I think cutest uh, fighting game. Uh, fighting game. Yeah, exactly. Fighting Pokemon. Oh, sleep deprivation. I, for some reason I woke up at 8 a.m. this morning. No idea why, I just couldn't fall asleep back, fall back asleep again. I have some technical difficulties. My internet is fine. That's good to hear. More Fallout time. <laughs> right, uh, Fallout 4 again. Have you played the other Fallout games? Okay, this is a Snoron, but not the shiny one. I think my husband has them all. I remember him buying a, um, like a collection set that has all the Fallout, Fallout games on it. So really the old ones as well. That's pretty neat. But yeah, um, to answer your question, Ahmed, I think the cutest um, fighting type that I, th or at least the fighting type that I think is the cutest would be Marshadow. But I also like Hitmontop, like out of the three evolution, uh, the three evolutions of that evolutionary tree, um, Hitmontop is definitely my favorite. Especially the shiny, that's... Uh, I mean, of course, it's turning pink. Instead of blue, it becomes pink. And I think the brown part of the body becomes more gray. And gray um, shinies, when they're like teamed with another very saturated color, usually they look really good. Like, what's the rabbit starter called again in English? The um, Cinderace. Yeah, Cinderace. I answered my own question. <laughs> um, Cinder Ace's shiny looks really good because the orange goes really well with the gray. And I like shinies like that. Um, sometimes the dull grayness can be combined with a very flashy color. And then it makes the gentleness of gray of the gray stand out but also the um saturation of the color it's also a good tip if you want to dress more fashionably there's certain colors that go really well that you can mix played racing game today usually prefer karting and enjoy driving a car but not only racing games is the option i also like um i have to say i like driving even when I am in a uh, tr stuck in a traffic jam, I usually just um, blast some music and then I'm good. 
not really a fan of um, racing games myself. I mean, I don't really play them. The ones that I've played are the Mario Kart series and the F-Zero series. Um, what else? Rock and Roll Racing on SNES, if anyone remembers that. If not, I feel old. <laughs> I have also played, but well, only for a very brief amount of time, uh, the Need for Speed, some Need for Speed series uh, games. For example, the one in um, on for the GameCube. Yes, I was playing Cuphead. I bet the effing dragon. This thing made me suffer. Yeah, the dragon is. Um, I mean, the game is. Um, Designed to be hard, right? Um, and I'm pretty sure my husband has a hundred percent of it as in played through the game on the hardest difficulty and I I wouldn't be able to do that. I wouldn't be able to pull that off. Not not good enough at um, Cuphead to do that. The Classic and Co. will be testing how many times I can hit someone right on the money the head with mini nukes. <laughs> I do wonder how that would look like because I mean, didn't you tell me it was um, it was modded, right? It's a pretty hefty overkill, but um, pretty funny. And maybe you've uh, already noticed, and if you haven't, then I'm going to mention it. And I will be able to stream tomorrow. I'm going to stream a bit earlier than I usually do. Because I need to be somewhere on Saturday morning. But um, yeah, I'm going to hunt for the fossil in... Like on this save file, the sapphire cartridge, I'm gonna hunt for the um, lily fossil that I have. And this time it's gonna be a... Yeah, it is a stationary um, hunt. So it's not a wild hunt like I'm doing here. And should be going pretty well. Um, I think I will get it tomorrow, I should. Even though I'm getting driving lessons, I've... But I've always had the same nightmare of me being about to crash a car into a car accident. It's... It's keep coming always to me. I mean, I... I'm going to be absolutely honest with you. When I started um, out with learning how to drive, I also had these nightmares. I think that's normal. Because before I was able to drive, or when I was new to driving, I usually had nightmares where I didn't have... I wasn't in control of the car or the vehicle that I was driving. And um, now that I've, I mean, I have my driver's license for how many years now? Uh, I think eight or something. I honestly, I forgot. But um, I have it for a long time. And now when I dream, I usually don't have these dreams anymore. I'm, I mean, they're very boring, right? I'm just driving a car somewhere, and, like, usually. <laughs> sometimes a crash happens, sometimes something very strange happens, like I'm just driving the car and then suddenly I'm in a building and the car is gone. I could just spawn somewhere else in dreams sometimes. Uh, I don't know if I'm, I mean, I don't, I know that I'm not alone with that, but it's, I wonder how common that is and I, I have a feeling, at least I have a gut feeling that this is because I, I'm i playing video games because all the people that I know that are not gamers, they never have dreams where that happens. I also have, I sometimes have dreams where, especially lucid dreams, where I basically no clip into walls or monsters that try to get me. I just, it's like, if you would type God mode into, con into the console, you just, you're invulnerable, just pass through solid objects or attacks just nothing happens or uh, third person perspective dreams which 
is also something gamers usually dream. As you can see, the um, the wait time is only only about one minute, so this should be going pretty quickly. If I get my timing correctly. I'm getting driving lessons, but yeah, I mean, yeah. Um, I think this will fade with time. Um, I do understand that now you're very nervous. I know when I remember back when I was a newbie driver, I was really nervous when like the music was too loud or the radio and that was distracting. But nowadays I don't have that problem at all. So give yourself some time. Um, and I think these dreams will maybe stop or not. If not outright stop, maybe they b will become rarer. Had a really strange dream a few nights ago. It's kind of funny, but just really, really strange. Spill the tea, Kaiser comes in. I love um, talking about very strange dreams. Because I am a person who dreams basically every single night. And I'm also a very lucid dreamer. Or at least my dreams are very... Um, Re I don't want to say realistic because often they're not, but they, they're very intense or they, they have a lot of things in them, like the detail, the, yeah, the, there's a lot of detail in them. Can't say realistic because even though it feels real or I see a lot, it's still weird things happening like me. Oh, okay. That didn't. Which is to me giving birth to a watermelon isn't exactly a... Okay, that was stupid. That was wrong. That's not exactly a very logical dream, right? <laughs> it still didn't register. Okay, let's go. Now. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Had a dream as a child. We live on the fourth floor and I'm going upstairs and stairs are crashing and falling under my legs. Ooh have to be careful and jump over the gaps. I had that dream a lot or a dream like that as a child, but as an adult, never. Now that I'm f after reading your comment, Alex, I just realized that, that I had dreams like that where I had to jump over things like in staircases or somewhere else. But now that I'm an adult, these don't really happen that much anymore. I mean, I still dream a lot, but um, they have changed. Dream comes again and again for about 20 years. Oh, so you also have recurring dreams because that happened to me as well. I've even had dreams that had not a storyline would maybe be too far fetched, but they had like a continuity in a way. Does that make sense? Or also there's some places my, my brain just made up like a some sort of place where there's a shopping mall and a an airport what else um and a old building and a really huge parking space that doesn't exist it just doesn't there's no real life equivalent but okay that didn't register my brain just keeps reusing that um scenery i guess but I've had outright, outright uh, the same dream twice. Even that one time, that was very strange. I had a dream as a child. And then I had the exact same dream a couple of years later, which didn't really happen a lot in my life, but that is weird. If I may speak, I usually dream about what I have watched. Yeah, me too. Um, or it has at least some loose connection to whatever I watched. Like the death scenes of a horror game called House of Velas. Oh, jeez, yeah. Um, yeah, um, if you consume a lot of horror content, then sometimes it comes up in your nightmares. But, um, I mean, maybe you'll get a good thrill out of that. But well, luckily, a nightmare is just a nightmare. I mean, your dreams are deep. Deep, I don't know, but detailed. Let's say detailed. I think that is the best word to describe my dreams. Um... Not realistic, 
but detailed and sometimes when they're too detailed and too intense I kind of wake up being a bit tired still because my brain has rendered so much I guess <laughs> it does really feel that way that it rendered too much so recently got diagnosed with a form of autism right hey there um fellow artist <laughs> And I had a dream where I was in the baggage check area of an airport. And explained to the security officer there that I was traveling to this nation named Autistica. <laughs> oh, Autistica, I wonder what flag um, they would use. Do you think they would use Thomas the Tank Engine or Sonic the Hedgehog or something else? <laughs> I'm just kidding. But, um, Dream then shifted to this black and white image of a map of Europe where disembodied voices explained that the nations of the world came together and created a new nation for autistic people named Autistica. I'm heading there right now. I just saw this large red circle appear in Poland, assuming this was the new nation, and I saw this weird flag for the nation. Uh, could you des describe the flag? Because this is really funny. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Autistica. Uh, it's kind of like Austria, but not really. Uh, I wonder who's the president of Autistica. <laughs> For me, it was a symptom of OCD that successfully def defeated later. No anxious dreams anymore. Oh, that's nice. Um, that is very rare that you can, let's say, defeat that. I have a lot of anxious dreams sometimes. It's just basically, oh no, I have to go somewhere to a appointment, but um, it's not there, right? You, that is a very classic dream. Oh, I have an appointment. Or you go into a exam or a test and then it's just gibberish or nonsense or like the questions are absolutely ridiculous. So I guess Poland got um, annexed by Autistica in your dream. <laughs> Prepared to be scared was scared all my life even before war. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's a lot of horrors in this world, unfortunately. But I'm glad that you could fix the, um, these anxious dreams that you had. Because I still have, s I wouldn't call them nightmares, I would call them stress dreams. And um, when I don't snap out of it and I don't really, I don't become lucid, sometimes I don't, right? Then it will continue. But a funny thing is sometimes I just reset my dreams. I just hit reset as if the, I, that was possible in real life. No idea why, probably because, I mean, I'm doing a lot of resetting in real life here with my... Um, with my games. <laughs> Probably a game thing again. Weird as hell, <laughs> but funny. Was just so random, been laughing about it for a while now. I don't, I won't forget about Autistica, that's for sure. <laughs> it reminds me, I mean, it reminds me of dreams where I also thought that something was there and it had a ridiculous name or a ridiculous reason for being or existing and in the dream, I thought, yeah, that sounds about right. But when you, once you're awake, you're like, what, what is that? What was that? That makes absolutely no sense. Had a dream of me getting a dark palace looked like from the 1950s. Oh, that's cool. Went to the palace at night and one of the dark nights I saw. So it was basically almost pitch black. I mean, depends if you're scared or afraid of the dark. Um, I'm not, I have to say. Because usually when people say um, they're afraid of the dark and then you ask them why or you just use the, you apply the Socratic method of why is it so and you keep asking so that the person can describe and explain their stance. And it's usually not the darkness that actually frightens them but what might be in that darkness and... Um, that's why my darkness dreams are not scary at all. I just end up tumbling somewhere or maybe finding a light. 
I think the flat was a horizontal tricolor going red, blue, and then brown. Okay. Had a mallet duck in the middle of a PNG of a lake holding several strands of wheat. Okay, very interesting. I'm trying to think if that is maybe a, some kind of amalgamation and mi or mixture of your of uh, real existing flags. Not sure. I know that there's flags out there um, that have animals on them. Um, at least I know from state flags. I th is it California? It has a bear on it. And there's other US states that have a animal on, on their flag. I forgot which ones because I'm not a flag artist. I don't have them categorized and as a catalog in or, or as a list in my head. But it does seem somewhat familiar. There's also f um, flags that have a lake on them or that depict a lake. I think all autistic people were like forced to go there, but was a good nation to live in, I think. I mean, yeah, forced there, that would be quite some trouble for a lot of um, countries because, I mean, that would be a massive brain drain in a way, right? There's some autistic doctors out there, autistic nurses, lawyers, anything really and if you would put them in a very specific uh, country i mean that's not the ideal solution but i mean we're talking about dream logic right oh, i forgot i turned off um i did turn off animations here because um, i was ev training earlier Turn them on again. I think that should it should keep it that way. Now that I've done it in the yeah before opening the save file, at least I'll I'll figure or I'll find out soon enough. You're definitely gonna have fun reading my website because it'll have to explain a lot about the how the brain, all these subconscious things that we usually can control, works. Yeah, that is that. Then I'm I'm really uh, excited to read that because I. I do like reading about consciousness and subconsciousness. Jim Sally didn't go into the politics of Artistica. <laughs> but I'm really debating making the flag and the image of the map I saw like in Photoshop or something. I've also done that before where I drew something really quickly that I saw in a, in a dream to... To show it off to people, I guess, because if you explain it, I mean, it's always the image that they have in their head is not the same, maybe. That, or maybe it's not accurate to what you were actually seeing. I run half of all US states have an animal on them, I believe. Could be, um... Where is my snow on? Good thing the um, the resets don't take that long. Now I got over the dark fear because I always say since my childhood if there's a monster in the dark, at least let him kill you, not a big deal. Oof. I mean, uh, there's deaths I would definitely prefer, but... Um, the real monsters are unfortunately some people, and they're humans. Just remember specifically that the dream wanted me to know that people of all ages had to go there after diagnosis. So anyone from like age 2 to 70 was immigrating. So if that was uh, the case in real life, I, I would have had to go to Artistica when I was 3 years old. Because that is when I got my diagnosis. Got it re very early because my mom could tell. I mean, I already have a older sister and she raised a girl and she could tell what I was doing wasn't really standard or run of the mill. I mean, I stacked toys, I put them in a line, I stimmed a lot, I um, learned to talk. I've learned to talk before I learned to walk. I 
uh, among other symptoms. Um, I really, as a toddler, I really didn't care about playing with other kids. That just, that desire only came when I became like, well, when I turned seven years old. Decided to ride. Where can I order strength and will to finish? <laughs> I wish I would know where to get that. Um, shipped as quickly as possible because <laughs> i'm trying to feel i have enough energy to start maybe you have stopped stream for a week and i have a couple of free evenings oh, all right i mean now is that would be a good timing now because next week i'm probably not gonna stream not sure if there's gonna be a day where i will be able to stream i mean this weekend probably not and next weekend hmm, maybe i I'll try to, um, but probably not, so then you can, um, I won't um, distract you then, I guess, <laughs> from writing. But I know how that feels. Um, I also have to start writing down some, at least the first drafts of, a, of the um, manga that I want to publish. I have the, um, I basically have the canon set already. More or less. But the... Um, I still need... The story isn't really as... It's not really done. It's still work in progress. And I need to... Get on to that shiny Keldeo. You got a shiny Keldeo just now? Did you find one? Isn't Keldeo shiny locked? Then again, I'm not sure, but um, unfortunately they did shiny a lot, a lot of mythicals later on. But if so, then uh, congrats. Don't even know how... Um, nope, obviously shiny locks. Oh, what a bummer. I mean... Eventually, I'm gonna RNG manipulate Chinese in Generation 5, but um, unfortunately, not Reshiram or Zekrom because they're shiny locked, and I really. I just don't like shiny locks. I don't get the point of them. I mean, I do understand why they're doing it. I don't just don't see the reason. I don't agree with the reason. Um, they want to keep those for. Um, Okay, that is still not a shiny. I want my shiny snowland. Is my Ian timer um, timing a bit off, or is that just me? Okay, I have to turn on the animations all the time. All right, so. I can save here, then the animation thing is turned on again. Then hover over Sweet Scent. Really do want that Snorant though, because um, I've. would be the first shiny Snorant that I ever have. Hey there, Junior Gaming, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Heading out, getting tired soon. Good night, Yana. Well, all right. Um, then I wish you a good night and see you, see you tomorrow, hopefully. Good night, Kratos Skywaker. Growing up, the hardest part of my life till this day was finding a purpose to live. And if you consider that there's still seniors out there who still haven't found their purpose to live. I don't think there's an inherent purpose to life. If we're getting really philosophical here. I'm what you would call a optimistic nihilist. As in, I don't think that there's a inherent meaning in the universe or anything, but that doesn't mean that you can have a meaning for your life. And just because there's no inherent meaning to the universe, doesn't mean that um, all is bad or that it doesn't matter what you do. 
Because it does, right? I mean, a lot of things matter and have consequences, so that's where I am at, f philosophically at least. Um, and if you have found it now, Ahmed, then you're really freaking young to have found it that um, early. That's quite rare, I would say. Can you shiny hunt the dogs for the e-reader event that Bliss made? Yeah, I want to, uh, not Bliss, Blissy. Um, I want to do that. Um, I just need to figure out on which one I can set them. I mean, they should be, uh, they should work on my Sapphire and my Ruby. Apparently, they wouldn't work on my Emerald. Because it needed to be English then, and I don't have English um, Emerald. But yeah, I did. I did want to do that. Definitely, I just need to find a way to do it. Since I don't have an e-reader, um, that never really came out in Europe. I mean, I could um, buy an Australian one. That would be PAL as well. But they're really expensive, and cash is kind of tight right now. So I'll probably do it with a um, on an R four card. I'll. Just put some kind of program on there. I think he, he did show on, in a video how to, um, that there's multiple ways of getting the event. But yeah, I definitely want to shiny hunt the dogs. Or dogs, I mean, legendary beast. Go, doing good. And yes, it's just me, Junior Lumsden. Just changed my YouTube name. Also, why did this get so deep for funny monster game? <laughs> Um, yeah, that's just my streams. I mean, I talk about anything really that just comes up in the chat, be it philosophical things, be it dreams, be it, um, bio uh, didn't we, ye uh, yesterday, didn't we talk about, like, biological chemistry and valences of silicone and, and all that and potential alien, uh, biology, so that's who I am. <laughs> I like talking about very nerdy specific things. Ask me about small talk and I usually can't really say a lot, but ask me about very specific things and I I can talk for a long time. <laughs> Still no shiny, how do I Okay, I'll I just turned off the um Ian time on opening it again because I have a for some reason, I think the timing is slightly off. Sometimes it does stupid things like that. There we go. That feels better. Planning to start to do an, in real life cats and dogs shiny hunt. Just kidding. Can dogs be shiny? <laughs> uh, the, um, I mean, yeah. Uh, I would say maybe a some kind of albinism and melanism would be considered a um, equivalent, or maybe not an equivalent, but an analog to shininess. So if you get a albinistic dog, <laughs> you'd have a shiny dog. At least I'll try to write a plan because almost everything is in my head. I just have to extract it. Yeah, that's also where I am with my manga thing my science fiction universe thing. I have it all m in my head and I don't forget it, but I really need to sit down and write down some stuff because you should, um, but I mean, best is take your time. Um, don't stress yourself. Don't like give it some time, give it some time to reflect as well. Maybe sleep over some ideas. Also, by the way, make sure to do the Entei Raikou Suiku and do it in this order, or the event won't redeem. Oh, is that is that the case? Okay, that is good to know. Thank you for that information. Keep missing the frame. We really want to own a GameCube, but I don't know which ones are the good ones on eBay. Uh, could help you with that, since I have a lot of um, experience in the retro gaming market, as well as second, uh, second-hand um, gaming market. I assume you're American, so you're looking for a... Um, 
You are American, right? Sometimes I, mi I mix that up and if I mix it up, then I'm sorry. <laughs> um, there are some really good, um, I mean, used GameCubes for sale. For sale. <clears throat> You know, that is just like calm and quit, but once you start talking, you won't stop. Yeah. <laughs> also, Glacion just deeply staring into the chat. Yeah. <laughs> it's the um, it's the skin that comes with Ian Timer, although I prefer the the one that I'm a Blissey uses with the Lattes on them. But for some reason, I'm too stupid to find it in his Discord. I just can't find the file. I had fought in my head for a good few years at least. Oh, that's... So the uh, a large chunk of the planning has probably already been done then. Only a couple of weeks ago was 100% what exactly it should look like. Oh, that's that sounds very good. So you're... Yeah, like I said before, um, probably not going to distract you too much next week. <laughs> Not American Arabian. Ah, yeah, you're um from the uh, from Dubai exactly. Okay. Do you use um because that was my question. Do you use um? Does Dubai use? It doesn't use PAL, doesn't it? It uses NTSC, or does it? You know, it's a very good question. I actually don't know that because no Arabian guy has told me what um. They never mentioned if they their consoles were PAL or not. Didn't know you guys are starting to run stock markets here while I'm gone. <laughs> uh, not there yet, but maybe. Who knows? Um, RNG manipulation stock run? Any anyone? Stock market? Let's just tread. Um, let's just destroy Wall Street with RNG manipulation. Sounds about. Sounds like a good plan. My brother, I'm Iraqi. <laughs> Is it that boring without me? Nah, it's not classic. Iran got the F-14 scrapped. I mean, I'm sure they had a good reason to do that. Like I said before in other streams, in war I usually don't take sides because I don't prefer one nation over the other. I don't judge nations like that because in nation, I mean, there's so many people that I don't know that I don't want to paint with the same brush how do I know if they're pal or not um, do you have any other Nintendo games that you could where you have the cartridge physically or the um, the CD box of a Wii game maybe because usually it says it on the um, on the cartridge or on the game, like the game case. You're distracting in a good way, so I don't mind. <laughs> yeah, um, I know what you mean. Sometimes there's some streamers that you listen to. but um, Or you can watch a stream while doing something else. At least sometimes I do that. Multitasking. Right, so... I think I'm gonna calibrate soon. Because I really want that snoran to appear. I wonder why I keep missing the, the frames, because it's definitely possible to get a shiny snoran. Okay, that is a Zubat. I'm just gonna uh, use the Master Ball. My wall has been in my head about for around six to seven years. Oh, nice. Now, and it's constantly changing. That's good though. Um, usually the first draft isn't the best draft uh, and if you change it then you'll allow it to evolve and that's very important. Feels like every day I choose to change up big chunks of the world and stories I want to write. Yeah, I know how that, um, how that feels like. Um, the world that I have made um, since 2009, at least that's the first um, first time I I really started with it. 
Okay, so it's hostic, which is hasty. And what are you, a male? I don't know what your hidden ability is, but uh, let's see. So the frame that I want is 4,636. 4,000, okay, what level are you? You're six, 26, okay. Um, 39, is that it? Hidden power of flying. Okay, so maybe I'll have to check that. Doesn't matter if I'm gonna sit here for a long time for only one shiny because I really, really want that shiny Snorunt. <laughs> it's too so bad. Freaking, freaking bats in the caves. Master Ball Zuban, buddy, it ain't 6 IV or shiny competitive. Why? You think I'm gonna save while I do this? Of course not. <laughs> this is just uh, to get it to calibrate, that's it. Okay, another Zubat, so I can test the... Oh, of course I can't escape. Should have known. So, um... Here, Boo. He has a very high level Pokemon. Plus it matches the color, yeah. <laughs> it has wings and matches the color, yeah. That's a very... Those are two convincing... Uh, <laughs> Very convincing arguments, aren't they? So I'm gonna change you up. Put Lily in front. Try to get... At least being able to deduce somewhat what um, type I did get. No? Okay. I know what I'm gonna do. Um, I have a... Item here that lets me escape. It ain't in your eyes. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna save. Definitely not. That would be very stupid right now. Um, okay, so let's go annoy that trainer again. It's very strange that I don't hit the frame. So if I don't hit the frame for an hour, I usually start calibrating then. Okay, protect the... Oh, of course, now it... Get a okay so is it fire flying can be so many things no worries I'm not gonna say because that would be incredibly stupid <laughs> so I do wonder, I do think I got the frame, if I had to guess, I've got the frame that I've got highlighted here, but then again, can never be truly sure. Put this cackly on to sleep, switch out and see what, uh, what it turns into. To find my fantasy fictional story, I wrote the two have two protagonists, and the antagonist of the story is actually someone who thinks that is good from his own view. What you what have you done to my poor Zubat? Oh, that's gonna kill it, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, that wasn't too smart. So let's do that again. I'm gonna reset now. Um, don't think I lead to but I'll put you to sleep again. Shiny Rayquaza player. <laughs> I'll be back soon. All right, see you. See you soon. So you, Ahmed, you've uh, written a um, villain with a motive that is at least to a certain degree understandable, if not commendable. Is that what you're trying to say? A villain who's... Um, yeah, who's basically that. I mean, if that's done, good. In a good way. See you soon. Alright, see you soon, classic. An off ran shiny Ekans. <laughs> okay, now is... I'll get... Okay. 
Flugtyp. Alright, flying type. Uh, so my guess, my original hunch seemed to be correct. And I was only a couple of frames off. So let's do that. Hey there, human name. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Gengar is fat. No, Gengar is thick. But uh, I got a um, Lego Gengar from my brother just as a gift. Random gift. Still have to assemble it. Requires a superior to any other Pokemon in terms of attack. I mean, it doesn't have the highest attack. Uh... Which Pokemon has the highest base stat attack? Was it... Actually, I have to check that, um, but it's not Rayquaza, even though Rayquaza is very OP. And just as just your own normal animator says, it got banned in competitive play. He's a ghost type. He's light. Yeah, he can be thick and light at the same time. Doesn't even weigh a kilogram. How much does Gengar weigh? That's a good question. I... So it weighs... It actually weighs 40 and a half kilograms. Oh, there we go! Shiny Snoron! Finally! Look how nice it looks. So let's... Oh, you're protecting yourself. <laughs> Alright, so I was always a couple of frames off, you know. That's sometimes very annoying, but what can you do? I'm doing good. You would never guess what I'm working on. Uh, your computer... In Minecraft, I assume. And Sing misses. And now it doesn't miss anymore. Great. Who's levitate to cheat? <laughs> Villain so far is pretty much like he's trying to get rid of all the corruption, but in the same time you need to execute certain people with the Will the protagonist and standing in his way? Ah, uh, okay. But I do like um, interesting villains where they're not just cookie cutter villains, right? Where there's at least some thought put into it. I'll, I'll, although I have to say there's some really vile villains who just are a-holes. But they're still written in a way that makes them... Convincing because sadly there's people like monsters like that in real life as well. Grubbin the best. <laughs> Grubbin is cute. Love shiny snow on, but Frostlass and Glalie have bat shinies in my opinion. Oh, you don't like Glalie? And oh, that's what the name is. Oh, Sing keeps missing. That is very unreliable. Ah, oh, there we go. Hmm, netball or luxury ball for this one? Maybe premier ball. What do you think? What ball should I use? Because it's probably gonna evolve into a glary. I mean, I could still hunt a second one. That would also be possible. How could you have known I was working on my redstone computer? I have psychic abilities. <laughs> hmm. Premier ball or net ball or luxury ball. I only have one luxury ball, so... Try a... I'll, I'm trying a premier ball. I only have two. Rose are red, sky... Red sky is blue. No, roses are red, sky is blue. All my achievement are all thanks to you. <laughs> and we got the shiny. Very nice. Any name for it? Um, I mistook it for Gulpin. I also have a shiny Gulpin. Um, I can hunt another one. A um, square one on this. 
if the save file permits me to do so. Right, so I'm gonna save immediately, right? <laughs> and then um, I'm not in the ice room anymore and just shoal cave. And then I'm gonna get a, a square, not hasty, um, a square. Oh, no square, square squeal. Is that just not what we'll what we'll get? Oh, that's a shame. No, 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 um, no such thing as a square squeal, unfortunately. Oh well, so probably going getting out of here. All right, so we've gotten that already. Very good. Look at this beauty, isn't it nice? And where should we go now? Focus sash, quick attack, endeavor, retata. Oh, the fear strategy. Yeah, that's very funny. <laughs> if you've ever beaten a kid with that and the kid has a team full of legendaries and you do that, you pull that off, the kid will probably accuse you of hacking even though you haven't hacked a single thing. <laughs> So let's try for the Staryu again. I mean, I did try it yesterday. That was, to be fair, on my um, on my Emerald. So Super Rod, um, Lily Cove City Staryu. And this is the frame with the delay of one. Calibration zero, because I don't need it now. Well, let's heal up first. So there's a full-on Pokemon theory battle going on in the chat, it seems. Oh, I didn't ask you, did I? Uh, what is your absolute least favorite Pokemon? Or maybe your most hated, if you wanna, wanna call it that. My square shinies. Looks really nice. Bidoof. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of people that don't like Bidoof because it's annoying. I mean, I can see how annoying it might be to a lot of people. I find Bidoof to be very funny. <laughs> it's a quirky little Bieber. The shiny is the embodiment of shiny Arceus. Yeah, it's golden, just like a uh, shiny god. If that's not a message from God, then I don't know what is. I'll save again because I have safe paranoia. Gamers everywhere would understand what I mean. Right, so the star you is gonna be level 26. Let's see how that will work out. Your most hated Pokemon is Miltank. I think I know why. <laughs> I'm gonna hunt Miltank as a shiny in my uh, Safari Saturday or Safari Sunday. I never had a problem with Miltank because I, the um, starter that I picked was usually um, female. And anyway, I I um I picked the grass starter, so that's Chikorita, and if I'm not mistaken, Bayleaf or Chikorita, one of them learns a like poison powder or something like that, and then you combine that with Leech Seed, and my I usually soft reset it until my starter was female, because not because I wanted a female starter, just because I like women more and nothing to do with that. Um, it's more like in the games you can, you can, um, if your starter Pokemon or your Pokemon that you want more of, if that is a female, then when you breed it even with another Pokemon, another compatible male, then the egg will be a, um, the starter. Oh, keep needing to reset because of the stupid hook. Yeah, um, I agree with you, human name. I thought that the Generation 2 normal type gym really wasn't that problematic. 
And to be absolutely honest with you guys, the Clefairy that she uses is, in my opinion, much more dangerous because it can use Metronome. And it has happened multiple times that the Metronome turned into Explosion. So that's more dangerous in my eyes than the, um, the Mill Tank. And as I was explaining before, my starter was female so that I could read it later and um, give other p uh, kids also uh, Chikoritas. And I um, usually I just used leech seed poison powder and then a grass move and then mill tank was no more. It wasn't, I mean, it can't use a tract if it has the, the opposing Pokemon has the same gender, which is somewhat homophobic if you think about it too much. Although I don't think that was their intention, per se. Oh, you didn't play Gen 2. But yeah, I'm. that is also the opinion I have. I don't think the Generation 2 normal type gym was that hard. If anything was really hard, it was the Clefairy with its volatile metronome. I remember my reaction to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet finding out that Poppy, the four-year-old cute little thing, is an Elite Four member. <laughs> Alright, I don't, I didn't know that. Um, I haven't played it before, but I don't care about spoilers in that regard, so don't feel too bad. But, so there's a toddler who's a Elite Four member. Talk about child prodigies. That's, in, that's intense. I bodied the Elite Four in Violet. <laughs> Gen 2 normal gym either destroys my Nuzlocke or is insanely easy. It just depends on how lucky I get or how unlucky. Yeah, I can already imagine that um, depending on what team you have with the Nuzlocke, especially if you have a, um, a team where the Pokemon can only be male, then I, th I can see how that can become a problem. Wanna try Alpha Sapphire or Omega Ruby really bad? Do we have a um, 2DS or a 3DS classic? Because unfortunately the online has been discontinued, but now they're very easy to um, jailbreak or to hack, to home rule, however you want to call it. And there's fan pirate uh, servers that enable you to play online, so... Maybe, uh, I don't know if you have one, but if you should you ever find a okay second-hand one? Then that would be the cheapest way of getting it. And that's a whale mark. I've already seen enough whale mark, shiny whale mars, Um Oh no, I, oops. I hope I don't get more shiny whale mars in this stream. Because uh, I've already gotten, what, five... No, four shiny whalemers yesterday. <laughs> you can fly and control the lattes in the game. Yeah, that is a really cool um that is a cool part. And the little wormholes that you can find. Or not wormholes, uh space time. Rip, I guess, where you can find some legendaries, or you can also find um, hidden islands where you find a portal that gives you legendaries. I wanna play because it looks great and megas. No, well, that's that's fair. And um, remember that um, maybe if you have it, you can you could transfer the um, or I could trade over the um, clones of my shinies that I get here. So imagine having shiny megas. Thank goodness for Pretendo, the pirate um, fan-made servers that are now up. Good thing Pokemon Bank is still functional. They didn't turn that off. Okay, if I don't get it too soon, maybe I'll calibrate again. 
You know, you're deep in a game mechanic when guides only have like a few K views. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> or maybe if you find one or two things on YouTube and the rest is um, things that really don't have a lot to do with the what you're searching for or looking for. Want new games to make it so that you can fly and ride on Animon? Yeah, they should have done that ages ago already. I mean, why isn't that a thing in Scarlet and Violet? It should be. I mean, in Let's Go Eevee and Let's Go Pikachu, you can kind of ride on Manymon. Try to test that servers for 3DS soon. Hope they restore online features. Yeah, that's the point of... Um, of Pretendo. I mean, the name already tells you exactly what you need to know. <laughs> and still no hook. Oh. Don't think I have a Pokemon with the ability suction cup on here. I feel like we need to get old Pokemon flying swimming back, that as well. To just set Pokemon for the task. Yeah, there's so much that they could um, definitely do better, but... They're just rushing the games too much. I mean, if it were... If they did it like I would... If I could like control or direct them, I wouldn't release a new Pokemon game every year because... I think it would be better to focus on the main series or at least some kind of spin-off or maybe both and then have more people or a larger team working on it so that it will be better in quality terms. Wanna watch Blade Runner because it, apparently it's a good movie. Um, as a sci-fi fan I am uh, kind of embarrassed to say I've never seen the movie. But I also plan on watching it. Wanna designate a Corvi Knight to fly? Yeah, Corvi Knight. <laughs> I like, I love uh, crows. Crows are really nice. Okay, that's a star you. I'm gonna catch that one with a master ball, do the unthinkable. <laughs> and then I'm gonna try and, I mean, it's not gonna have any gender. I also don't watch movie much, uh, movies much, classic. Okay, so hidden power, TM10. And then... I have to look for an actual diagrams of control units and stuff because there's barely any redstone guides. Oh, so you need to figure it out that way, hmm. Yeah, because I'm lazy, I'll fly to the same city that I'm already in. <laughs> in a process I would call Taylor Swifting. But yeah, now you need to um, just try to understand the logic behind um, these logic gates <laughs> or control units. If you need help with that, let me know, but um, knowing you, you probably will figure it out on your own. Hey there, um, non-shiny Oddish. <laughs> I just want to fly in a freaking ho -oh and impress the kids' NPCs. Yeah, same. want to fly on that shiny ho -oh I got in Emerald that I hunted live here. Maybe they only give certain Pokemon fly and ride abilities because there's over a thousand Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet so they don't want to model and animate all of them. Yeah, but that would still be possible. They just need a... Um, 
They just need more people working on the game and not not release one game every single year. I mean, that takes a lot of manpower away from a more fleshed out main series game. Wait. Movie night with everyone confirmed? I had an idea where I could maybe do a movie night um, over Discord. That would be definitely interesting. What do you guys think? Although I'm actually not sure if that on the legality of that. <laughs> okay, gusht. That is po uh, not poison. That is rock type. Rock, rock, rock. There we go. Uh, what nature are you? I didn't even check the nature. Lush, that's lax. So we got a lax rock hidden power star you and the shiny is uh, what, level 27 okay so this is the frame that i've hit it can only be this one right oh that is very that's far away from the frame that i actually wanted to hit but still i mean with um with fishing sometimes that gets messed up there we go, hit that frame and let's start again. I like the idea of a movie night. Yeah, okay. That um I also like the idea of a movie night. What movies would you love to uh to watch? Movie nights are illegal. Movie nights in and of themselves are not illegal, no. But um, the problem is technically streaming or showing a copyrighted movie that's not yours in a setting like that. I don't think it's legal, but... Eh. <laughs> they don't they have enough money already, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's illegal. I think so. Okay. Doing that again because the rod keeps failing. Okay, four, five, six. What has the world become? Very bad, classic, very bad. The world has become rotten. Would love to though, yeah. The nut shop too. Is that what you want to watch? <laughs> I mean, you can suggest anything. I got a lot of um, anime movies as well. Jeez, do I have to do that? A lot, I guess. Got jail time waiting for me then. Yeah, it, it, I don't think it's legal at all. I mean, they do have these disclaimers in the beginning that you shouldn't show it. In a screening like that, but that would also mean that some car cinemas are also, or car movie screenings, are technically also illegal. At least if they don't have the license to show the movie. De facto is, uh, means as a matter of fact, it comes from Latin. Not officially, but it's not enforced. Yeah, that's... Um, I mean, I've done it before. I didn't stream it or I didn't uh, show the movie, but uh, someone else did and a couple of friends. We watched a movie over Discord. <laughs> Real Steel is like the best robot movie, boxing movie ever. Um, would no, um, I mean, I wouldn't know where to get that one. Then I need to see where I could get it. Ah, there we go! Shiny Staryu! Very good. I should definitely, um... Start calibrating earlier. <laughs> I think that is the, um... The lesson that I have to learn here. Ah, it looks really good. Doesn't it? Can't you use Netflix on Discord? Um, at least every single time I try to screenshot something off of Netflix, it um, it just showed me a black screen. So I think they have some measures against that. But 
worth trying, I guess. Pretty sure that was a thing. Since it's 12 for me in the night, does that mean you have been streaming for a day? Oh yeah, you can use recover, can't you? Oh, jeez. Shiny star, shiny Sterndu. Sterndu is basically the exact same as um, star U. Stern means star in German and du means you. So the Sterndu is a very good German name in that regard. Finally, yeah. <laughs> I really should start um, calibrating earlier. Right, so which Pokeball should we use? So I'm gonna probably evolve that one. And star me as a shiny is like blue. Blue, reddish, blue, purple, reddish. I think a netball would look nice. So I'm gonna try that. Where's shiny Oddish? <laughs> I mean, if I would fish up a shiny Oddish, that would be weird, wouldn't it? There we go. Shiny star you, shiny square star you. Got caught. Very good. Immediately save. Alright, so which shiny should we hunt for first? Uh, gotten snow run, gotten... Oh, you have an item. Oh, Stardust. Yeah, makes sense. Um, who's gonna prove we streamed anything? Theoretically speaking, I could have someone in my chat right now or like... No, I don't think so, right? But um, maybe someone who watches this and he or she would try to do that, but I don't think that's gonna happen. It's illegal to stream movies on Discord, streaming videos with friends in a private channel falls under fair use. Does it? Provided that you're not commercializing the practice. Yeah, I won't. I mean, it's not like I'm gonna say, okay, only my patrons will come inside and the others can't. Who's gonna prove we streamed anything? Oh, yeah, I did re read that again. No, the thing is, it's just, it's just starring you in German, no misspellings. Yeah. <laughs> Who's a snitch? If you're a snitch, you're not invited to the movie night. <laughs> yeah, no snitches in here. Um, okay, so... Let's, let's go underwater, should we? I mean, I do have... Um, Surfing and then on the water route 124 or something Let's go for a shiny um, Square rock legs. I don't need that anymore This would be the frame which is, is the exact same frame as before Just need to get a diving Pokemon first Can pirate any movie? I mean, um, I have a very large selection of movies, so pirating that would technically be double illegal. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna need you here. Um, can you use dive? I don't think so. Um, you should know dive, right? Okay, no surf. Not gonna need that. I'm gonna change that and teach it dive. I don't have dive, right? I really should check that first before commencing the stream. Yeah, I do. Okay, good. I'm a sea dog. <laughs> so sea... Which sea dog? <laughs> I'm gonna go uh, here first. I have an app that allows me to watch any movie or show for free. Call it Cinemana, a popular app in Iraq. Never heard of that. Um, but then again, uh, I don't have a app like that. If I would like put in the movie, it probably be something that um, that I already have a movie that I have. Or if anyone else has a movie that they would want to showcase. 
St still doesn't fall on the fair use. Fair use is extremely strict. Yeah, I don't. I think it would not be allowed. But um, as long as I don't have any snitches, I don't think I'm gonna run into trouble. Big pink surfing whale. It's now a pick a big pink diving whale. There we go. They aren't investigating that's too expensive and gives almost nothing in return. Well let's hope for for our sake, right? Alright, so let's go back here. Why are we investigating laws of streaming a movie? I mean, if I could potentially get into trouble, that wouldn't be too nice, would it? But, I mean, oh no, this one doesn't have any underwater um, wild mon. Remember everyone, snitches get stitches. <laughs> But yeah, there's so many movies that are definitely worthwhile to watch. Oh, I haven't fought against you yet. Oh well. Okay. Oh yeah, three Pokemon. Great. Okay, I'm gonna switch you out. Lily, do your thing. Don't worry, Omnium totally will a lawyer can get you out of any situation. I'm better than Saul Goodman. You're better than Saul Goodman? Wow. <laughs> I know Saul would have my back when it came to that, if he were real. Isn't the shiny Ludicolo, I mean the teal, really... Well, it really looks good here. At least there's so many um, shinies look really good in Generation 3. Be right back sucking on some jellyfish. Okay, that sounds really wrong, but that's what essentially what Lily is doing right now. <laughs> Alright, third one should be good. That is also a shiny we could get. Tenta Cruel. That would be in the abandoned ship. I don't think I've gotten a shiny tentacruel on stream before. And at least, even if I did, which I... No, I didn't. Oh. Alright, let's... Let's uh, let it evolve. Um, it'll get better stats that way. Not a shiny, to be fair, but still. Oh, now you're learning a new attack. Uh, I'll keep the attacks that you have because they're useful to me. Don't use... Yeah, whatever. I wanna actually wanted to dive. There we go. Right, here we are. Save. And then we go for this frame. Let's do it without calibration first. And then let's go. Shiny Chinchu. Oh wait, did I... I mean, I did save, I'm pretty sure, but I'll, I have save paranoia, so I'm gonna save again. <laughs> Just in case. I'm sure you'd, you'd understand. There's some people that got really harsh sentences for stupid copyright stuff. No horror movies at the movie night because even though I'm 15 years old, not afraid of the dark and no monsters aren't real, I'm still scared of horror movies and horror games. And since some of you are minors, wouldn't that be double illegal if I would show you a 
16, rated 16 movie and you're not 16 yet. I'm gonna go get some tea. Also remember kids, if you see someone shoplifting for food, no, you didn't exactly. Preach it brother and um, enjoy your tea. I also have some tea here. It's an apple tea. Ah, so good. Actually, that's a line that gets scary to me once I'm alone. I mean, isn't it somewhat of a normal human fear to be afraid of the dark? I would even go as far to say that it's a um, primal fear. Like insects on you or like spiders. Beasts with scary fangs and eyes. That's a chimchu. And this time I'm gonna um, calibrate because... Yeah. Actually, that's a light dog. Uh, I, well, I'll have some water. Well, tea is water, right? But heated up with some plant matter in it. Oh, I don't have a chinchu on this sofa yet. All right. What do we have? Coon. Coon. Coon is bold, I think. I have to check again. I'm not sure. I'm doubting myself right now if I'm... Coon is bold. No, I I was correct. So I got a bold nature. Um, where were you? I did see bold here somewhere. Bold, 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 bold. There we go. Bold. Um, and what is it? It's male. And it's not a shiny. And the frame that I want, 4,600 and something, it's level 22. So I, from, I mean, pretty logically speaking, could only be this one. So that's good. I don't even need to do the hidden power check. All right. So this is the frame, amount of frames that was off. And let's try again. You want that shiny chimchu. I've tried to get it for so long on my emerald during Wild Wednesdays, but for some reason just never really worked well. Yeah, the fear of dog is programmed into your brain. Yeah, I would say so as well. Very tasty water. Yorkshire Vale branded water. Highly recommended. Don't mistake for your Yorkshire tea. Um, I definitely am on camp. Different waters have different tastes. I can definitely say that because I have drank. Uh, I have. Dr I drank water from um, Luxembourg, from various regions in Germany, from various regions in Italy and in France, and even the um, different regions in the same country. The water just tastes different, and I'm not talking about bottled water. I'm talking about the water that you get out of the. Um, like what you could just get like that uh, to use to wash your hands with from the faucet because I don't uh, I don't buy plastic bottled I don't um, buy bottled water because it's pointless when the water from your faucet is just as good if not better I'm gonna lie I need to go to the store and stockpile chocolate bars because I'm really craving them Oh, there we go. Shiny Chimchu, finally. There we go. That was pretty quick. But honestly, since the... Um, hmm. Should I try and get two Shiny Chimchus? Or... No, I'll, I'll catch this one with a Master Ball and I'm going to tell you why. Because I will evolve this one. And then it's going to be a lantern, and shiny lantern is um, purple pink, so the the scheme is uh, per the color scheme is perfect. There we go, shiny chinchu, chimchu. That's how it's pronounced. That was pretty quick. I really need to um, get um, calibrate earlier, just like. 
Um, just your normal animator has told me before. It's definitely right. We could try for a second, Chimchu. What do you guys think? And then I can, I can um, catch that one in a netball or a dive ball. Let's try again. Why not? And then what else could I get? Can I get a relicanth here? Oh yeah, I forgot. Um, not bold, not male. Let's go for it, yeah. Then I have two, why not? Already got one, so... Okay, no shiny relicanth. Oh, that's unfortunate. Clam pearl, I mean, I already have enough clam pearls, I just... I've had it with the clam pearls. <laughs> Okay, so Staryu and Chimchu got caught. Does this game have a horsey, I'm wondering? With Super Rod on, on several routes, you can get a horsey. Oh, I can get a square horsey. Very nice. So that would be, I think, my next target. A shiny square horsey. Because modest is a good nature for a horsey. So tired. I was more tired before, but got, getting several shinies now and just streaming made me more awake. Did you have a um a busy week, Kaiser Kamazin, or maybe a busy day? Okay, that's not a shiny. But I'm gonna keep this. Configuration. Okay, that didn't work. Let's do it again. <laughs> Paralyzed, but doesn't matter anyway. <laughs> Specifically, Hershey's cookie and cream, which technically isn't chocolate, but still I want some of them. Haven't had these before. Um, but I, I do know how it is, how it feels like having chocolate cravings. <laughs> I also had a snack accident today, so not judging. I think you've, you've might, might have taken my energy. I was very awake at the beginning of the stream. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Sorry about that. I don't, I'm not sure how I managed to do that. Um, I don't, I'm not a psychic who can siphon energy from my stream uh, viewers, but um, somehow that happened. Because in the beginning was kind of tired when I started at 9 o'clock here. I was, oh, I'm pretty tired, but still I want to stream. Um, especially with my Sapphire, there's so many square shinies that I really want. Uh, it's a very good, at least I think it's a good TID, secret ID combo that gives me square, modest shinies with pretty good IVs. Not perfect, <clears throat> not perfect, sorry, but we're not here for perfection. Good question, are we gonna have a movie night and when Yeah, with the voice chat, should we have a voice chat movie night or not? Because I know there's people who hate it when you talk while watching movies in a group, and then there's people who I would say would want to talk to the other people about the movie. Um I'm fine with both. We should do only we should only do voice chats after or during breaks on the movie night because I don't think anyone likes talking over a movie. I mean I I know people personally who always do that and um I don't take these people to the cinema because they would talk over it. Or they they basically they do not a let's play but basically a let's let's watch and they just comment what they see and they just can't stop themselves. I know at least three people who are like that. Very interesting, I might uh, add. That's exactly what a psychic who can siphon energy away from the viewers would say. Oh, dang, you got me there. What do I do now? Will the psychic uh, police come after me? If so, I'll probably know in advance, right? Because psychic... Okay, so I'm gonna hunt for the second 
uh, Chimchu until like for oh no <laughs> there we go there it is that was pretty quick I was about to say I wanted to hunt it for another nine minutes at the most but I didn't even need to it managed to show up so second shiny Chinchu very good it's exactly the same stat wise and IV wise and all like the one that I caught before don't paralyze please and sing should hit exactly there we go you're fine with pretty much any movie. I mean, there's some kinds of movies that I won't show for obvious reasons, especially P-O-R-N ones. Because that is actually a law that they take very seriously in, um, in Europe, which is act actually very good. Showing that to minors isn't a good idea. The psychic police police have psychic blocking powers, so they're dark type then I would assume. Let's throw a netball at it. Try to talk as little as possible during movies, unless I think of something really funny. <laughs> yeah, uh, sometimes you gotta blurt out the joke. And the second chimchu got caught. Very nice. So let's go for. What should we go for? The horsey, I think. Okay, route 132. Which one is that again? I need to re remind it. Um, okay, I can't go here yet. I still need to check where route 100 and, um, 132 is. Because, unfortunately, it doesn't show here. Um... Oh, it's there, okay. So I gotta fly towards this city. Let's heal again while we're here. Might as well. So already, I mean, off to a slow start with the stream, but still I've gotten a lot of shinies that I really wanted. Introduce myself to these type of movies. Um, I know there's people that don't want to believe me when I say this, but I don't watch that because I don't need it. I'm probably more asexual than a lot of other people, I would assume. But still, um, showing that to a minor is just a absolute no-go in my in my eyes. Oh, well, not a star shiny. What am I doing? It's a square shiny. So. This one, this one, this one, and this one looks pretty good until now. And let's add a couple of more to that pile of shinies. Except knocking at 2... 30, 38am only. Uh, okay, I don't get the reference. Yeah, the psychic police are psychic themselves, so they can be detected by psychic powers, which probably explains why you didn't know about this very well-known <laughs> fact. Uh, my bad. <laughs> Should have known that better, right? Uh, as a psychic, of course. Psychic premonition. Should really train that, or maybe it's impossible anyway. Should go back to psycho school, I guess. <laughs> psychic academy. Right, so let's go for the horsey. Horsey is a nice shiny. I think I'm gonna use a Master Ball again. Because the evolution is... Um, also gonna be purple. And it's not really a problem for me because um, I can clone Master Balls on my Emerald version. I have essentially an infinite stock of them. I'm also going to use a Master Ball on the um, Square Kyogre if I ever hunt it, which is definitely this year. Maybe soon. Depends on how much progress I make on this Sapphire cartridge. I was referring to the Psychic Police when they knock. They knock at 2 a.m. in the morning? Wow, that is very inconsiderate of them. They could at least come a bit later, right? 
they only work night, sh night shifts. Uh, so there definitely are dark types, aren't they? Not a well-known fact. I know I have to really brush up on my psychic knowledge here. I'm a psycho noob, noob I guess. Okay, and the Ian Timer for some reason is stuck at the 3 here, no idea why. And that is a Sharpedo, which also is a very nice shiny... Um, okay, I'm gonna calibrate still. Master Ball, where are thou? So we're gonna eat male Sharpedo, which isn't shiny, and what nature do we have? Blah, 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 blah. Oh, I don't have a, okay, new Pokedex entry. Psychic Dark would be a cool type, not gonna lie. Um, there is one, but um, I forgot the English name, like a, the squid from Generation 6. Isn't that a Psychic Dark type that uses Topsy Turvy? It's hasty Nature, um, level 35. Level 35. So the frame that I want is around 4,800 and something. 35. Oh, there's several, so I'm gonna have to use the hidden... Hidden power thing again. Or Kraftreserve, which doesn't translate to hidden power. That just literally translates into power reserve. Omni's a really bad psychic, guys, give her time. Yeah, that's why I never really did the card readings and all of that, because I guess it's my autism. Just can't really read between the lines, can't really read between the neurons, I guess. <laughs> Malmar and NK, yeah, exactly, these two, thank you. They have the Psychic Dark t uh, type combo. And you're right, it's a pretty cool one. Cool, except for the fact that um, it has a four times weakness against um, bug types that... I mean, if you get a um, Mega Horn on that, that thing's gonna faint very quickly. But other than that, it's very fun to use. You're insanely good at being a psychic. Can you read my future? Or if I would show you my the palm of my hand, would you know? <laughs> or maybe I don't want to know. <laughs> Sorry, Omni, I'm actually a psychic police plant. I was just waiting for you to slip up. Sorry. Well, do you know what I have for that? A cap or all or A C P A B all no A C A P C A B. All psychic cops are bastards. <laughs> Down sight is that I see. Ah, I see. Thankfully, not as much anymore. Okay, that shouldn't do too much damage. Come, you, you wake up so quickly. Okay, I outspeed. That's good. Fluke flying. Uh, so it has to be this one. All right, that's a pretty late frame, but still, um, or well, not late, a uh, bit early. Oh no, actually, I just, I almost hit it. Ugh, again? Well, that usually can happen, but oh well. Calibration. And no um, visual cue again, because Ian Timer doesn't know what it's doing. might have to come with me as well as classic so where do I go is there a special jail for psychics you would never be able to sleep in peace there would you because you just hear everyone's thoughts all the time and I don't want not sure if I would like to have that okay wait I'll just I'll close the timer because it's messing up again opening it back up and hopefully you will not do any stupid things now. There we go. That's what I want. 
Good Ian Timer. Way to blow my cover too. Yeah, I know, right? You really got me with that acronym. Looks like I'll see myself out there. <laughs> yeah, I was, uh, I mean... Imagine if the police were psychic. Wouldn't that be very terrifying? Okay, still so have to do another reset. Didn't get as many shinies, maybe. Um, Should have maybe calibrated earlier, now that I'm looking back. But now I've... I really know that I should calibrate more, definitely. And I'm really looking forward for the shiny horsey. Maybe if I get it early, I'll... Do a double feature just like I did with the um, Chinchu. Well, catch twice, catch it twice with different Pokeballs. Trust me, we used three square foot wide, ten foot thick concrete walls, so you gotta, so you go insane and lose your psychic ability. Uh, that might be a plus in that situation. You go from psychic to psychotic. Okay, maybe not. That isn't. A plus at all. <laughs> so shiny horsey is not pink or purple, but once you evolve it um, to the last, um, what's the English name again of the last evolution? Of um, horsey. Ah, there we go. That's the kind of text that I want to see. Gotta love the Hoenn trumpets. Love how the conversation went from favorite Chinese to craving chocolate to being psychic. Don't forget about the meaning of life and other weird things, uh, dreams. <laughs> that's just my my chat for me, and that's just or for me. Uh, just that's just how it is. Um, I I talk about the most specific weirdest things. We're unliable for any mental illnesses that are contracted. You remind me of my chocolate craving. Oh boy, no. You've forgotten about the chocolate craving, now it's come back to haunt him again. Be careful or a snack accident will happen. Speaking... oh wait. Speaking from experience. I'll calibrate again, I think. Just for good measure. So this time I gotten a... Whalemer. It's male, and I mean, I don't know about the hidden power or anything, so I'm gonna check that as quickly as possible. Naive. And you're level 33, aren't you? Um. Hmm. Multiple come to mind, so I do have to do the hidden hidden power thing again. So let me do that really quick. The meaning of life is to make money and have kids, at least in my in my opinion. I mean money is something we invented. Um, if you really want to get technical, the meaning of life is to die. But um, because that's one thing that we're guaranteed to be doing in the future. But I mean, there's people who want to be or stay childless, and I can see why. Even though I do want to become a mother at some point. If my financial situation improves, obviously. But I do understand why some people would say, sorry, uh, raising a kid would be just too much for me. Meaning of life is to find peace and happiness in a world that is so hellbent on showing you don't, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, that is a good way of looking at, um, at it. I mean, I don't think there is one singular. Oh wait, did I do the did I do the hidden hidden power thing, or did I just absolutely forget about that now? 
Let me check. Oops. Oh well. Start over again. Pfft, that was a fail. Life after death. I don't know where I got that quote from. I mean, I don't believe in life after death. But you're free to believe in anything you you want to. I mean, I am an atheist, but still, um, I'm not. I don't force my worldview onto anyone else. And if religion is a very important part of your life, I'm not going to change that. I'm not that kind of atheist. <laughs> Right, no Whalmer. I do want my horsey. Welcome back, human name. Don't think I'm gonna stream for too long. But I do plan on getting the at least the one horsey, that's for sure. If it doesn't take too long. The chinchu was kinda quick. So it shouldn't take too long if I don't mess my calibration up like I did with the Whelmer now, and I forget to teach it the hidden power move. <laughs> of course, if you do it like that, in, a, in that stupid way, it's not gonna work. Let's see what I get now. I get a... Sharpedo, and it's male, and it's level 35. How was the tea? Was it good? Oh yeah. So. Okay, that shark is apparently about six foot tall. At least, isn't that what one meter eighty is? Six foot? If I'm correct. I could be... Again, I could be... Um, could be wrong. Because I'm not, uh, I'm a European, I never use empirical. I only use, ever use empirical when I have to deal with Americans. So let's check for the hidden ability, just to... Hidden ability, not hidden ability, sorry, hidden um, power type. Tea was good, so I have also my tea. This time I didn't forget to teach the move. <laughs> so that stupid thing doesn't happen again. Sometimes you're just so into the... Um, you know, your muscle memory, you're basically playing the game but you're not paying real attention. Your body just plays it automatically. I'm sure that has happened to any of you guys before as well. About to start creating my rendition of the Autistica Dream. <laughs> By all means, I want to see it. Um, probably not gonna reply soon because after the um, stream I'm gonna head to bed. But um, I would like to see it. So feel free to post it in the uh, Discord because I really want to see that flag. Or I just like um, I like talking about um, people's streams. I think it's very very funny and interesting. Also, as an American metric system, it's just better than Imperial. No clue why Americans are so determined to keep the Imperial system. Okay, it's flying type. Um, hidden power flying. And what is your nature? I haven't checked that yet. Hasty again. Okay, did I hit the same frame again? Okay, so it only has to be that frame. That is good because now I know what I hit with very... Oh no, it's not. What? That is weird. I shouldn't have gotten this frame. Level 30? Oh, it's... F I, I've actually... I misclicked and I set it to female. Good that I noticed that now. So level 35. It should be this one. Yeah, should be this one. There we go. Calibration. Ready, set go. My body just does stuff without thinking fully on its own, just kind of spectator in my own head. Yeah. 
That's what I just did when I just went to that woman with the Kecleon and I didn't even check to see if I taunted the TM. Because without DTM, of course, gonna be pointless, right? <laughs> Right, so tomorrow it's gonna be the um, shiny fossil. Uh, in this case, on this save file, I choose the um, root fossil because on my ruby, um, I already chose my French ruby uh, to specify which one because I have two. Um, I chose the other fossil so for this one it's gonna be the root fossil that will give me a shiny leap and it's not a wild RNG manipulation you need to um, in poker finder you need to click stationary or static encounter and that should that should be should be good um, let's set it back to what I want to see i'm gonna listen to some music now i always have to go to bed yeah i'm also going to bed soon if i don't get the horsey soon or at least i want to at least get it get one horsey to be fair well you don't have to force yourself uh to keep yourself awake uh, it's not what i want at all okay i'm gonna keep with that calibration because it's good. Good luck with the rest of the stream. Thank you, Classic, and have a good night. If you have a funky dream, tell me about it tomorrow, all right? <laughs> now, there we go. I think I'm s I'll stream until... Um, what do we have now? Okay, come on. Okay, yeah. 23.13, so... Probably stream until 23.30. So, it's only 16 o'clock where I live and yet I feel like it's 23. Um, so, did we switch, um, did we switch the circadian, uh, circadian rhythm or the sleep rhythm for some reason? Because, um, where I am it is past 23 and... For some reason, um, I should be the one who's tired. And not you, and we somehow swapped that. Psychic police dream. <laughs> Although psychic police is an interesting... Um, like, do, you, do they have fart crimes? That would be very terrifying. Okay, that's a Whalmer. Um... Got enough whalers already. Oh, that didn't register. Do it again. That would be very scary. I mean, that is a already fleshed out um, sci-fi horror concept right there, isn't it? A police that's psychic and they can read your thoughts and they will prosecute you for um, thought crimes so even thi just thinking about a crime without even committing it would land you in psychic jail that's very scary <laughs> sounds like some kind of dystopian far future sci-fi concept I'm all for it all right so the super rod which in French, I really don't like how they mixed up the super rod. It's not called super rod, it's called mega con. Which is mega rod, basically. And the... The other rod is called super con. So... Sometimes that um, confuses me when I play Pokemon in French. Keep, I have to keep reminding myself, oh yeah, wait, that super rod is not the... Super want that you think it is. 
As an anti-authoritarian based, I'm going to say no, but as an author, I'm gonna say I'm definitely putting in this Far Cry Police in my setting. I mean, that would be very fitting in a sci-fantasy setting. And it is a very interesting idea as well, you can do a lot with that. Also, maybe debate on the nature of thought crimes, like, would you persecute someone even though they haven't committed the, the crime? I mean, I'm very sure that even among my viewers here right now, someone has at least at one point thought to himself, I'm gonna <clears throat> murder that, I don't know. But you didn't really actually think about committing murder, you just were probably so angry in that second that you thought of something like that, but that doesn't translate into committing the crime, right? So, in that case, you'd be screwed nonetheless, because... Oh, there's a horsey. It's not a shiny one, but still. Yeah, I mean... Everyone, I think almost everyone has had a thought like that. Or, or I'll, I'll break that person's... I don't know. That's also a crime, right? Thinking about beating someone up. At least if you're not a minor and you're an adult, I, I can't just go out and beat up a random person. I would get into trouble. Rightfully so, right? Um, we're crazy with the idea. Yeah, an idea like that can float around in your head without actually you risking doing so. At least I hope so. But I do understand where you're coming from, Ahmed, since you told me you've been bullied and usually these thoughts come up when you're bullied. You're just like, you're very, um, how do I say it? Not panicked. Um, desperate, maybe, in certain situations like that. And then you just think, oh, I'm going to smash that person's head in. This is definitely understandable. And people who said they'd never thought about that. Not sure if they're lying. At least a lot of them would be. When I'm thinking about the nation that would probably have this. They totally would prosecute people who thought that if caught, yeah. And it would probably be poor people punished for real for it for realism. Yeah, just like in real life, I mean got billionaires who got away with crimes just because they they had the money. Basically, justice. They always say, how does the saying, the idiom goes, justice uh, is blind. But she definitely smells the money. And that's unfortunately true. There's just so many cases of very rich people just not getting any consequences for a serious crime. And that's very classist. And of course... Um, I don't like classist systems, but as a leftist, of course I don't. But as a sci-fi writer, it's very interesting writing worlds with that because you can play with the um, the concepts. You can maybe do a political statement with your um, story. Like, there's so much you can work with. And since your setting is probably already very rich, Kaiser Karmazin, this would be a, I would say, fitting addition to at least some... I would say you have di uh, different planets or different... Like, civilizations spread across different um, celestial bodies. I assume that your setting is like that. So that would enable you to um, easily write in a society like that they are isolationists, they hide, or they they just don't, they're very x xenophobic, they don't want to have to do, want to do anything with the others, and they keep to themselves. Maybe they have a very fancy weapon or magic defense system, and they have thought crime police. I mean, that is already, that by itself is a very interesting setting, this already so many possibilities that come to mind um, what you can do with that. But since your setting has so much, I mean, I don't know the entire setting, right? But um, 
there's a lot of ways you could integrate them. That's the nice... Um, that's the good thing about um, certain genres like sci-fi and, um, and fantasy. And very few different planets. Actually, my most advanced species is, was afraid of magic and never broke the fast than light problem. Mm, okay. Um, I mean, if it is possible in your universe, which I assume it is through magic. Then again, I don't know the canon of your story. But that is also maybe a tip for any aspiring writer who is in the audience right now. Okay, that didn't register. Let's do that again. Two, three, four, five, six. No, it didn't register. Eh? Why? Oh, poor Burb is getting owned here. But yeah, that is a very good um, writing tip. To you should pretty early in your creation, or maybe a bit later, just do a mind map or just look at the what is the continuity of your universe what are the rules of the universe is there are there things that are not possible by any means whatsoever or are there things that can be done but they need a very high amount of effort or arcane knowledge of some kind like what are the internal what's the internal logic of um, of your universe Especially if you're writing uh, science fiction, that is very important to establish. Okay, do that again. Jeez. Another reset. Are oh, you... Okay, that didn't... Ah! Why am I so clumsy right now? Magic was a crime as it often times had a hefty cost to use it. And as they were too afraid of those prices, they couldn't use teleportation magic. Ah, okay, that is interesting. Got some very creative um, viewers here. I'm really positively surprised. I like that. Um, wish more people would just be into creative writing and don't shy away from quirky ideas because... Um, to be fair, everyone has good ideas, in my opinion. What really counts is the execution of said ideas. Because you can have a great what is setting with a universe, whatever you want to call it, with fantastic idea. Oh, I just missed that. Oh, shucks. Um, as I was saying, you can have a universe with perfect ideas, but if the execution is lame, then it falls kind of flat on its face. So be sure to keep that in mind. Right, I don't mess this up this time, hopefully. Do I have to reset again? Oh, very annoying. Yeah, my setting there are a lot of things that are nearly impossible and one impossible feat, which is that nothing can create a soul. Except if two people make a child, I guess. Wouldn't that be a creation of a soul? Or maybe not? Um, then again, not sure, right? Um, you know your universe better than I do. So in the soul could maybe only be created through natural means like reproduction. Magic was either uncontrollable, deadly, or worse, so that they used technology rather than magic. Yeah, that's also interesting that magic is somehow of a taboo in that society. Oh, jeez, I really need to reset a lot here. Do I? Will I get the horsey within five minutes? Let's see. Okay, don't miss the next hook up. If the hook actually gives me a Pokemon. Aw, oh, come on. Well, magic can create a soul. Mm, that's the specific rule, okay. 
We just don't know how pr reproduction creates life. Ah, so that's in a way still a mystery that the magic scholars don't can't explain. Okay, makes sense. Oh jeez, this is really annoying. Um, hopefully I'll get it soon. If not, then it's for another day. Um, I do think that um, I could also do that. The um, Some Wild Wednesdays, not just using my emerald cartridge that I already have. With all the... with so many shinies on there already, but uh, my sapphire one. Okay, this is getting really ridiculous. <laughs> to be fair, the Lilip, should I get it? I think that would be a good addition if I do more um, fishing hunts. Also, fishing RNG is kind of annoying because it's pretty not pretty unreliable, but sometimes it is unreliable. The worst or most unreliable RNG, I would say, is Rock Smash. I actually tried that uh, today. And I was trying for two hours and I didn't get a single shiny to appear because... Um, when you smash the rock, there's no guarantee that a encounter will occur. So apparently only 10% of any rock smashes occur in or end in encounters. So technically speaking, I would need to um, try at least a hundred times to get 10 encounters. And that is very annoying. So not really looking forward to doing that in um, in the Safari Zone. But um, I mean, I still haven't gotten it to work. I know about the delay somewhat. You can make soulless life, but that's just the thing. They are soulless, so they exist without purpose. So they are more akin to robots than us. Okay, cool. So... Robots would also be considered soulless then. So you, you definitely, in your continuity, you separate life from consciousness. Or life from soul. Or souls. Which is also something that's interesting and worth having a political debate. Or not political, sorry, a philosophical debate over. Because I did... Like, where does a soul begin and where does it end? Or in more scientific terms, where, when can we talk about a consciousness and when is it too simple to be considered a consciousness? Like, um, would a bacteria have a consciousness? Would it have a soul or not? It's definitely alive, that is not the question. But does it have a consciousness? And I, th these are the kind of questions that sometimes pop up randomly at 4am when you go to the toilet and you're really freaking tired and want to sleep, fall back to sleep, but then a random question like that pops up. Or maybe that's just me. My brain is very strange sometimes. Not sometimes, a lot of the times. Ah, uh, sadly, no shiny horsey. But still, that is not the end of all that. So I'm gonna hunt the... Oh, you're not gonna let me escape. You need to have a chow on my bird. Okay, now I can escape. All right, so um, still, I, we've gotten quite... Uh, we've gotten shinies that I really, really wanted, so I can't um, can't really complain about that. Bacteria has a soul in this universe but lacks consciousness. Ah, uh, okay. That's a good way of framing it. So I'll, I'll be very excited to read your um, story. Right, so um, I think I'm going to head to bed now. Um, got some square shinies that I really wanted, so I'm pretty happy with how, how it went, even though I didn't get as many shinies. 
as in some other streams, but still, um, gonna show them again. So these beauties. We've gotten very nice. Right, so uh, as always, thank you so much for being part of my stream. As a reminder, I'm going to stream tomorrow. I'm going to try and get the shiny fossil. So shiny Lilip it is. And until now, have a good one. Goodbye and good night. <laughs>